A few words about resolution in Sculptris Pro mode in the new ZBrush 2018. First of all, if you go to the Z Classroom section on Pixelomchik's website, you will find an introductory video about Sculptris Pro mode. I suggest you check it out, but in this video I want to give you a few pointers. First of all, when you go to your stroke palette, then you have a section there, Sculptris Pro, and there you have the button that's also incorporated into your UI when you click it then Sculptris Pro mode becomes active and by default Adaptive Size is on, Combined is on, Subdivide Size should be about 1 by default and Undivide Ratio should be about 1.2. Now I've tucked my stroke palette into my right tray and what I want to show you in this video is that in order to get a good grasp of what these buttons do and for an explanation I suggest you check out the Z Classroom video um, but I like to turn them off to get a good hang of what is actually going on. So turn on that size off, combined off, and now the only setting which is um, controlling your sculptress mode is your subdivision size, uh, subdivision size and your undivide ratio. Now the undivide ratio again, uh, what I like to turn that to one. And for an explanation again, check out the Z Classroom video. So now. The only thing that actually is influencing my Sculptris Pro mode is my subdivide size. So I have my standard brush selected when I set, I'm going to set it to zero. Now regular sculpting brushes can be looked upon as being tessellation brushes in combination with the regular brushing. What does that mean? Well, with my Z intensity to zero, now my standard brush is nothing but a tessellation brush in Sculptis Pro mode. So with Sculptis Pro on and subdivide to 1, if I now click and drag, you see I'm getting only tessellation because the intensity is set to 0. I'm not having any actual sculpting. I'm only changing the resolution or the tessellation with this brush. If I set my subdivide size to something smaller, like 0.5, I'm going to have more dense tessellation, just like that. And of course, even lower, 0.25, even more tessellation. If I turn my Z intensity on, then of course, I'm going to have tessellation and sculpting. So if I Sculpt. I'm going to have tessellation and sculpting, but because the size of these triangles already is about the size of my subdivide size, I'm only getting brushing over here and no tessellation. I'm going to only have also tessellation there where the size of the polygons is smaller than my subdivide size. Just like that. Earlier I said that you can look upon the smooth brush as being a combination of the smooth brush and a decimation brush in Sculptis Pro mode. So the smooth brush is going to do exactly the opposite in terms of resolution than regular brushes. And if the Z intensity is positive, then it's also going to smooth out, of course. So when you hold the Shift key and with the Z intensity of zero, now it is only going to decimate according to my subdivide size setting and of course the size of my polygons. So if I set, leave that at 0.25 right now, if I press the shift key and go to bigger polygons over here, nothing is going to happen as you can see. But where polygons are smaller than my subdivide size, they should be decimated, but again my subdivide size in my, is, is the same as my uh, size that I had when I tessellated, so the size is the same and then the mesh is not going to get decimated, so I should set this for instance to point 3, I have to make it clearer to point 4. If I now hold the shift key, I'm going to have decimation, as you can see. So now I am decimating the parts where the polygons are smaller than my subdivide size. And as demonstrated earlier, there 
where the polygons are bigger, nothing is going to happen. And of course, if I cre increase my Z intensity, then besides decimation in combination with your subdivide size, you're also going to smooth out. Just like that. So, turning off adaptive sides and combined, and setting your undivided ratio to 1, is a good way to get the hang of what actually is going on when you use regular sculpting brushes and smoothing brushes. You can also go to your geometry palette, and there you have a section about decimate that is explained elsewhere, that is not something that I'm going to touch over here, but you could use it to get a uniform blanket all over your mesh. You can also do that with your regular sculpting brushes, set Z intensity to zero and the subdivide size for instance to 0.4 like I have now. I'm going to change my brush size, I'm going to sculpt everywhere so to get a uniform distribution. And with the shift key z zero z intensity, and this way I get a uniform blanket, if you will. So by turning adapt the size of combined of an undivided ratio to one, you get a clear view of what subdivide size actually does in relation to your regular sculpting brushes and your smoothing brush. And as stated earlier, in my experience, you can look upon the regular brushes in Sculptis Pro mode as being sculpting brushes in combination with tessellation and the smoothing brush as being a, as smoothing brushes as being brushes that smooth in combination with decimation. To give a last Example. So, if I have a standard brush, I'm going to set that to 30. If I subdivide size to maybe 0.2. If I sculpt, I'm going to sculpt and desolate. And if I press the Shift key with zero intensity, I'm going to or with a bit of intensity because I have a bit of spikes so I'm going to smooth out and I'm not going to change the resolution because my setting is the same as my earlier brush stroke but if I up my subdivide size to 0.4 for instance and now smooth out I'm going to decimate so hope this wasn't too confusing and hope you found it useful bye for now